Hey guys, welcome to a new channel in regards to cybersecurity engineer and the top five top reasons why you will want to become one because you're taking it from me. A professional security engineer may not be the smartest, but definitely not the dumbest. So anyway, let's dive deep into this. I am a crypto enthusiast. I mine crypto for mainly the fun part of it. And if you haven't heard of it before, I mine or farm Chia and also Caspa and MuCoin and a few others that I've done in the past, but something like Ethereum, but never Bitcoin. Anyway, let's get into the five top reasons why you would want to jump into being a security engineer. So number one, it is a growing demand, meaning there is so many industries out there looking for cybersecurity to protect their environment and to make sure everything is secure on an engineering level. Meaning we're not the guys who are going to be writing policies and putting things together on paper and making it look nice and presentable. We're actually dealing with the actual hardware, the networking side of it. So you have to have that mindset of being able to acknowledge and know the facts that you are working with other engineers trying to resolve or implement a situation or a environment where it's going to be a lot of technical expertise or experience that you've had in the past it is currently in its marketplace for jobs it's just ridiculous amount of opportunities right now for cybersecurity analyst engineer but I fell into the engineering part of it because my background was all about networking, all TCP IP and all this other great stuff with configuring switches and routers and firewalls. If you're into that, then this may be for you. Let's jump into number two. Now, the growing demand for all these different industries, whether it's in the porn industry, whether it's in the food delivery industry, everyone needs a cybersecurity engineer to protect them from all the bad actors out there. And when I say bad actors, anyone and everyone is always trying to get some monetary value out of this. No one's doing it for fun anymore, unfortunately. But in today's world, everyone's about trying to get on top of one another. And that wasn't part of the whole porn industry joke. But anyway, the whole point of this was that the growing demand means whether it's in healthcare, the stock exchange, schools, education, government, non-government, restaurants, everyone needs someone to protect them. Now, you may end up being a full-time or a consultant, but the demand is there. Number three, what's number three? High job satisfaction. And what does that mean? Meaning you're not just sitting there in a factory where you're doing one monotone thing after another, picking peas out of a pod and putting it into another box, right? Because it, you have to be very dynamic in your mind, meaning that you actually have to figure things out. Nothing is ever going to be in the perfect playbook. Like I could resolve this issue by following these directions. No, because everything happens so fast, so quick that that's why they call it zero day, because you don't know what can happen. It could happen in a split second and be like, oh, shoot, I need to patch this now with this latest and greatest patch that Microsoft or any other vendor just released because there's no other way to go around it besides doing whatever it happens at the moment. That's why the satisfaction is there because if you're into that type of environment where you actually have to think outside the box to do all this great stuff, then this is for you. Security engineering means that you actually have to think right out the box at that very moment because not everything is going to be by a playbook. Now, don't get me wrong. Playbooks help on a high level. But when you start digging down to certain vulnerabilities from certain vendors or a website getting hacked, you have a lot of avenues and you have a lot of things to make sure it's going to be secure. So that way it won't happen again. But unfortunately, not everything is going to be addressed on a piece of paper saying this is what you should do first, second and third. Although that will help you as a guideline, but on top of everything, it's very dynamic and you really have to like just jump on the gun and start remediating these issues or from, you know, these bad actors right away. And because of that, your train of thought has to be so fast. Like you just sometimes you don't even have time to sit down and have lunch. And that's the unfortunate part. But we're not talking about the bad stuff here. We're talking about the good stuff. 
Hopefully someone will buy you lunch and feed it to your mouth as you're working. We'll go into that in the next video. So let's get into number four, diverse career. What does that mean? And as I stated earlier, meaning you can actually work in a porn industry and you still need cybersecurity. You can work at a food cart vendor. They may not need so much security unless they're accepting Bitcoin. My goodness. Anyway, a lot of people are in every industry, no matter what it is. It could be healthcare, it could be this New York Stock Exchange, it could be the mom and pop shop down the block that takes credit cards. Everyone has a requirement for cybersecurity. Now, that all falls into how much each industry could pay you for doing that. But besides the whole salary portion of it, cybersecurity is here to stay and it's growing. And the diverse career just means that you have every opportunity to say, I want to get to the movie industry, but I'm not a good actor. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to become a cybersecurity specialist or engineer for one of the biggest movie production studios out there. Just saying. Or you want to work for Disney. What better way to work for Disney if you can't dress up like a Disney character? Go work as an IT security engineer. <laughs> and number five. Five. So that's the number. The last but not the least is why is security engineering so great? Well, it's because of the continuous learning. If you ever get into this field, there's always going to be individuals and vendors and companies that are trying to entice you to join our webinar because we got this great product and, and this can do all these 5 million things. This can drive your car for you. This can type out your resume for you and all these other great stuff. Well, it's because it has the dynamics of continuously learning because everything that happens today reflects what we do tomorrow, meaning all the technology that we are experiencing right now that is being built tomorrow, there's going to be newer, better, faster, better things to do with that technology. And because of that, security plays a major part in every step of the way, making sure it's secure, making sure that you can actually, you know, get everything working for an organization without any, any vulnerabilities, any risk, any bad actors kind of trying to come in and steal all your money or steal all your data and sell it into the black market. So the learning dynamics is always going to be there. Depends on how much you want to invest your time into studying it, monitoring it and just keeping on top of what you already know because even though i've been doing this for the last 15 years i'm still learning every single day i'm learning guaranteed there's not one day or one week that i'm going by that i'm not learning something new and i say to myself holy cow that's amazing which is the satisfaction of working as a cybersecurity engineer. So if you enjoy this video, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll definitely be making more videos like this because I find them very entertaining. And hopefully you find my new channel as entertaining as well. And I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.